Welcome to Trading Lounge and the European Indices for the 6th of July and on the four hour chart with the DAX here last time we spoke we were looking for a little pullback in here and then another move up here so we we're looking for five waves from B to C here in terms of one and two and three and four and five here now I also understand too that um, this particular pattern through here is a uh, little bit complicated we could also count it in different ways we could also just count this over here as a more bullish pattern with wave one and two here then one and two here and going up for wave three but I just really want to keep it in line with the S&P 500 and with the S&P 500 we're looking for wave one and two here and three and four here as we've seen on the Friday and then wave five here and then looking for five waves down uh, in this space uh, here uh, for a move up at that particular point. Now um, once we finish this little five waves, once we finish this little move up through here in five way, little smaller five waves up here, then we'll just see if we get support on top of, I mean we always look at at the number eight as a profit taking number so 12,800 would be the target area or even just before that would be fine but bids will certainly I mean, there'll be certainly be a correction uh in in this space um and look if this 12,800 becomes the support then we'll just look for a classic trading levels pattern as a tested support on that level and we'll go higher from that point but i want to move through this five wave structure here you've probably seen the um us uh video so when you know that we're looking for five waves up here but we could count this as one and two here and three here and coming back for four and then five up here so we just need to take it uh step by step so asia's just opened so let's just go in and check this out uh here we're on the four so we'll go to the the one here so I was mentioning to go long here, but the gap's already moved uh, up at that particular stage. So look, if it comes back to fill the gap after the squeeze, um, then fine, you know, but um, otherwise uh, let it go, I guess. But um, look, we're moving into group two here, 65, 72 and 80 here. And um, we'll meet, resi well, we already met resistance there. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to take profit between I'll leave it up to you between the 12720 and the 128 here so you can see what you can squeeze out of that um out of that space there I don't think I'll just go to the tick chart here I know we've looked at counts that include these other structures here but so just counting this up here one and two here and then one and two and three and four and five and third wave and a and a b and one two three four five here down for the C so we're looking at an impulse wave to the upside here we've got one and two and three and four and five here so that should come back and cover that that we should see a little dance around that um around the 12 6 there and the support will be the 12 8 here that's where the support will be there but what we might see here I can't draw but we're one two three four five here so we may see an A and a B and a C wave here so there may be another chance to get in this if you're not already in there um, but otherwise it will just push a little bit higher push continue to push uh, higher for that taking out these tops here and ending at least up at the 12 8 here possibly possibly even stretching up into this space here so um well if that's wave one here then wave two here wave three four five yeah it just depends i guess um just we've got to count five waves in in the structure but this is one and two and three here four here and five here so we'll see this pull back yeah start to do that now i want to cover that gap um, but once that gap that gap's covered it will probably want to move higher at that point but um just look for an a and a b and a c and it'll dance across the uh closest largest number the 12 6 there so we'll just put that there and the support for that there would be group two so uh 65 72 and 80 in here for that support now the FTSE now it's doing its own thing uh, we know that it's kind of softer so we we're looking for five waves between the low here and coming up in up in here and yeah we can I can get five waves out of that um, but certainly we've got this move down through here so we've probably got this here as wave one here already leading to the downside so we'll see this 
I mean, we haven't been trading long in this because we know, we know that it's just, you know, it's, it's just in a soft spot. So, um, But this is the one to short though, you know, I mean, <laughs> it's just, it's just waiting to move lower. So we'll get a better entry on this, but basically we can go short below this one here. Once the DAX tops out, you can short this. So this will be something like an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave moving up here and then down. So you could probably go through the two lows here and short it that way there as well. Um, but once the DAX tops out, that's the key, okay? Because this is just this is just uh, being held up as such. I don't see any other count here. I mean, it definitely looks like an impulse wave here. And this is just on 100 ticks here. So that move up here, counting that as wave one here and back for wave two here, then one, two, probably third wave all stuck in here with a fourth here and a fifth here. Um, so one and two and three and four and five. So maybe it's done it already here, but this certainly looks impulsive to the downside here. I'll just see if I can wrap my head around it. So one, two, three, four, five for one and two here. And looks a bit like a B wave in there, but um, I'll take that as um, this has to be one and two and three and four and five for the third wave. Yeah, so this is, this is one and two here and one, two, three, four, five for the third wave, fourth wave and fifth wave here. So yeah, um, pulling back up to, um, you could also sell it probably on the nose there. So at um, 6,215, if it gets that high, you could sell it there and just put the stop a little bit above it. Um, but you really want the DAX to be sort of <clears throat> high up on its agenda to be um, you know, completing at that point. So it still be much later in the session for that. And this, in this case, this would be the A wave up, a B wave back and a C wave up to the 62.15. And that would probably do that. Let's just tick chart stuff. Um, yeah, so I'll just leave that at that i mean maybe there's more in this maybe there's not um but either way it's going sideways and one way or another it's going to break out and because we've got our first impulse wave to the downside quite early in the piece really when you think about what the other markets have got to go through but um it can be certainly leading to the downside um you know it wants to go to the downside I mean, I can see how it can be counted differently, but I don't want to confuse things. We're not really that interested in this market, so I'll just leave it for the time being. Um, yeah, anyway, that's the short. That's what we can do there. Okay. Um, well, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.